series, and we're gonna start it off with the first game, the gold. This is actually a modded game because when I got this game on Steam, it fu it functioned, but it didn't function well. So I had to download a mod that optimized the game for modern machines, and it runs flawlessly. What's nice about this game is that you have the option of starting training or skipping training. But for the convenience of the stream, I'm going to show you guys the training mode for those. And this also gives you a little bit of a backstory of Garrett, the main character of the Thief series. I really like these opening uh, quotes right here. I was a kid, no parents, no home, running messages and picking pockets to keep my ribs from meeting my spine. One night I saw a man, folks just passed him by like he wasn't there. I thought he must have something valuable, so I snuck up on him and made a grab. <laughs> That's not for you. Please sir, I'm hungry. Don't tell the hammers, I promise. What is your name, boy? Garrett. You have talent, lad. Let go of me, old man! To see a keeper is not an easy thing. Especially one who does not wish to be seen. We have a need for those as gifted as yourself. If you've grown tired of how you live, then follow me, and we will show you a different way. Leave me alone! As you wish. I caught up with him just before he vanished into the crowd. It was the beginning of a very long education. I always found that if this is your first Welcome, time playing, I recommend doing the training. In mode. the nearby rooms, I will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway to the first room. You must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the shadows. Avoid the light. The indicator on your screen will tell you how visible you are. Try to reach the top of the platform without being seen. It's crucial that you pay attention to that little gem. And of course, moving quietly doesn't hurt matters either. Well done. I did not see you approach. Open this door to continue. When the door is near the center of your screen, it will light up, indicating that it is selected. To manipulate selected doors and other objects, use them. Good. Proceed down this corridor for your next test. Now you must learn to move quietly. Some surfaces are louder than others when walked upon, and moving quickly makes more noise than moving slowly. Listen to your own footsteps to hear how much noise you are making. The instructor will have his back turned. You must get to the top of the platform without being heard. This is the big thing right here when it comes to the Thief series, or actually most stealth games in general is where you're walking. As you mentioned, some surfaces are louder than others, so you have to pay attention to what you're walking on. Very good. I did not hear you traverse the room. Beyond this door is a hallway. And of course moving slowly to also helps task. too. Now get your weapons. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Then use them. Choose your weapon now. Try readying your sword, and then your bow. You can always put them away again if you need your hands free. Now let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. Ready your bow. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by holding down the attack button. Make sure you draw all the way back, or your shot will not have full power. Take aim, and when you are ready to shoot, 
release your attack. See if you can hit one of these targets. Good shot. Keep practicing if you wish. When you are ready to proceed, approach the training dummy and ready your sword. Eh, two out of three bullseyes ain't bad. Swing at the target with the attack button. A quick tap will give you a slash. Move the tip of your sword to the left of the target for a left slash, and to the right of the target for a right slash. Hold the attack button down, then release for an overhead swing. Try both slashes and the overhead swing on the practice dummy. Good job. You're ready for a live opponent. To practice against your partner, enter the cobbled sparring area. When you are done, leave the spawning area. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys how awkward blocking is in this game. That's one thing I mentioned in my review, that blocking is awkward. Yeah, you see? Got fast. Fall over! Of course, in this game, it's always better to run away. Because after all, this is a called thief, not called warrior. That's enough sparring for today. Please walk over to the table. Would you care for some refreshment before we move on, young Gary? Please pick up all of the items on this table. Cycle through your inventory to see the objects you have in your pockets. Once an object is displayed, you may use it. Have something to eat if you wish. Then you may proceed. The next test is waiting on the other side of the metal door. The door is locked, but the key from the table will open it. To unlock the door, select the key in your inventory. Center the door on screen until it lights up. Then use the key on the door. Oh, shut up, you stupid trainer. I want to play some basketball. This was probably the strangest Easter egg I've ever seen. Of course, I'm not doing so well in a... My shooting average, as far as basketballs go. Hey, I made it in, finally. Of course, that's only available on the expert difficulty. Good, now head down this hallway to get to your next test. skills. First, climb the rope by jumping onto it. Move while looking up or down to climb up or down the rope. Turn to change your facing. If you jump again, you will release the rope. Now climb the rope to get to the top of the platform. Well done. Run and jump across the gap to the other side of the stream. Good jump. This obstacle is easy to climb if you know how. First, move close to the wall. Next, jump to grab the edge of the wall and pull yourself up. Good job. I am most pleased with your progress. You have passed the last test for today. If you wish, you may stay to practice your climbing and jumping, or swimming, ducking, leaning, or crawling. When you are finished, you may return to your chambers the by going through that red door. Be one of them. Farewell. But I found other uses for those skills.
I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in, around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter, silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place, and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin. Yeah, difficulty also affects your objectives. And it's also a good test of uh, how well your thieving skills is. But for the sake of the stream here, I think we're just gonna leave everything as normal. Thief 2's difficulty actually takes it one step further. Of course, I will show in a future stream. Uh, water arrows on hand. Oh, and also difficulty also affects too many to try to get by here. and your overall health. The harder the difficulty, the less health you have. that the climbing is very finicky. It's not so much climbing up or down, it's rather going from the top down is where it gets finicky. Try 
try again. Try this again. This game does appear too dark for you guys. I apologize, but this is how the game is supposed to be tailored to. It's supposed to be this dark. Because after all, you're a thief and you need to hide in the shadows, not uh, expose yourself during the broad daylight. Even I'm having a little bit of a difficulty seeing. Ah, you little. Hold the F still. Exterminator is here. If you have a spider bomb, it's called Garrett. Get away! Bad spiders. I know there's a treasure chest here. Of course, this is a game I also recommend playing at night, rather than during the day. There's a chest in here. There it is. And since I'm in here, I might as well pick up something for myself. Ah yes, the more cash you have, the better. And I'm not too worried about that missing arrow. Sides. That's stupid. People don't worry about their on the inside. 
No, then you catch them before they get inside you, Taffer. Oh! It must be his first day on the job. people have conversations and sometimes eavesdropping will reveal hints or vision objectives for you, but I think that's later. somewhere in his, uh, in 
there's a policy that there's to be no drinking on the job, but one boring night, so he decided, well, he's not around, so might as well drink. Well, too bad. I would never, uh, condone or support, uh, or endorse drinking on the job. Never. that uh you can't well you can't eat the food however it does absolutely nothing for you nice deer leg too
then again, I haven't played this game in God knows how long. So I'm bound to be rusty. But what can you expect? this way on the harder difficulties, you do fail. Alright, now I can explore this room without any hassle. And there's some goodies in here too I want to get. Atmospheric dark, meaning you, don't, meaning you have to rely on, well, you know what I mean, I'm not going to explain it. Wait 
you're off the clock, dude. Then you can have all the dinner you want. As of now, you have me to worry about. Okay, there was a chest in here. Go. Shortcut to the chamber of the scepter, but we're gonna take a more 
or should I say rather a more longer route. Victoria, nothing yet. Watch she an inch above the ground where all the dirt of her footprints are. have I found Dominic. Eh. Weird. Book right here. Yep, that's your object right there. The scepter. Every once in a while, books and scrolls, or papyri in this case, will often lead to hints about where the treasure is, what the treasure looks like, your objectives, and so on. Drink. 
right, buddy? <laughs> the hardest to get. Just gotta wait for him to turn around. Just face the throne room, buddy. Don't do quick complaining. Alright. I think that's the last of the guards, not counting the ones at the front gate. <laughs> it's a throne room. How pretentious can you get? I think pretentious means arrogant. Here we go. Now, mission complete. Despite the minor, uh, pitfall, the first time around, at least we managed to, uh, <coughs> survive. <laughs> I like that. Some. <laughs> Yeah, not a very specific number, is there? Alright. Alright. Now we move on to the next mission. people debate about it is what kind of setting this is. Some people say it's steampunk, some people say it's medieval fantasy. Well, it's a little bit of both. Well, this is my favorite one of all time. It's my favorite, uh, between game quotes of all time. I went to Cuddy's place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. Apparently they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So hopefully they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison. Which is what I'm going to do. They're holding Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. The quarry's flooded, but the hammers still work the top-level mines and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate their tenants. An associate of mine was confined there and has provided me with a map. It would be difficult to get in by way of the main gate, but there is another option. The mines break the surface of a hill south of the quarry. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill and to the north. The Hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted. I'd rather not have to do this job, but Cuddy's a reliable fence and I don't appreciate the Hammerites abducting him. And he owes me money for the Bafford job. Yes he does. Yes he does. doesn't show everybody around the mine. We're gonna need a lot of water arrows for this. Hmm. Hmm. Well, just for convenience sake, I have not played this mission in a long time. So I'm gonna have to take some tests. I'm definitely gonna save it, so we're gonna call this. There we go. Alright, let's take a look at the hands before I venture in. Block four? Okay, well, I remember that. And what does this guy have to say? Okay, yep, that's the other hint right there because you'll see in just a few moments why you're gonna need cold water. This is where the real swimming begins. Can't go wrong with a diamond. Pickaxe. Oh, don't need broadhead arrows. 
moment. I did not expect that spider to be there. Uh, Alright, let's send to go back up the floor. church somewhere in this area where I can get small bottles of holy water and I don't have to visit the shrine. That's not it. I've already been in there. I can't remember where it's at. Yeah, this is a mission where you can get lost very easily if you don't know your way around. With me. And I haven't played this mission in God knows how long.
politics, not honest craft. To me they're lost, when they come of age and know not how to accomplish aught of consequence. Oh god, this is a mission I- this is the part of the mission I really hate. Hello? I Show thyself. Seems like I'm wasting water arrows, but I'm doing this for a reason. How's it going, dude? Just don't mind me. Just walking by. One, this is another thing I hate about this mission is that it's very, the corridors are very narrow. The best thing you can do is just run. Don't fight them. You're not gonna win. guards very easily. As long as you are above them, where they can't get access to you, you'll be fine. Forth and fight me, villain! Cease thy hiding, craven. I just love the random taunt saying throw Art again. thou afraid, then? Not afraid. To me, my brother! <laughs> Here I'm up here. Here I'm up here. Ah. To yeah. me, against this threat! Yeah? What are you gonna do? Huh? Oh, get some more reinforcements? You better run. Yeah, unfortunately, this this part of the game, uh... I think stealth is pretty much out of the question. Now that I look back, I probably should have used an arrow to take out that guard. Guards, they really, they're really not worthy of being called hammers if they run away after they take a hit. Wow. I can only imagine the job ads for a hammerite, uh, for, an, for a hammerite position. Thou canst not stay in shadow forever. Oh, shut up. I'll see the shadows as long as I want. If 
idea is correct, though. You can't stay forever. What I'm trying to do is lure the guards over here so I can take them out one by I one. Arrows. I'm going to be on arrows instead of water arrows. Arne! Take arms! And hither! If my stream ends up being like this, I apologize. Now I'm going to show you guys actual one on one combat. Lend thy strength to buttress me, my comrades. Well, that's one problem solved. Did he have something up? Could have one of these guards had a potion on him. Salt for now. I was just saying, I'm going to take one of these potions. Uh oh. Uh oh. A plague on these rats. You better not be walking towards me, dude. Stay away.
are, Talbot. Clanky metal grating. Better tread softly.
scum had never faced tribulation in their lives. For a time I thought Block 4 might never sleep again for his coughs. But he quiets now. Good. Death or Doran's twill be the same for him in the end.
entirely sure how. Just gotta stick to the shadows. You just face the other way, dude. He's in here. No, he's here. This is a lot more.
door is open. How about number two? No, two is still locked. Unless I'm reading this wrong. Uh, I don't want to be running back and forth with the uh, releasing people from their jail cells because I just need number six unlocked.
that triggered the alarm. Is it rest now? Trust nothing. Shapes the cauldron. I hammer in my hand unto my foes. 
interesting.
Hence must I cum my nose. Hey, you do. Uh, what is that? So let's see our continuing. Go back 
Yep. I knew it would take me all the way back down here, so...
Remember, if you get caught.